standing on my right foot. The other foot splayed at an oblique angle to the right foot. The finger of my right hand is in my belt loop. The other finger, this is the index finger. The other index finger is inside the pocket. Hands out a little more akimbo. Elbows quite akimbo. Um, but because of the splaying of the, um, the one leg, I seem to be leaning a little bit in the direction of my right side, the audience's left side. And as I say that, I start bending a little bit. I tend to lose my balance on that word, correct my balance. It's obvious my balance is on the right foot, on the audience's left side. Now I rock back a little bit, correct myself. I seem a little bit stiff in the torso. As I do that, there's a gesture. There's a gesture toward the two akimbo arms, which corrects itself. And now gradually the balance goes on to both legs and then onto the leg on the left side as I move about to walk very, very slowly in sort of one quarter speed, lifting up the leg as I turn in my body, lifting up the leg onto the toe of the right foot, still not moving, but continuing this in a very, very slow kind of posture, rotating the body as I do that on the axis of the torso moving so that my head is now facing, head going up, and is facing the black wall at my left side, the audience's right side, and a little bit of a gesture as if I'm about to motion, but not with my hands, which are stationary, with my torso. And then there's a kind of swaying back and forth on my torso from right to left. And as I do that, I make a full pivot, bring one foot, then the other foot that's balancing on its toe, up, stop, look down. My head has been down. My hands haven't changed. No, they have changed. They're more regularized. So they both have the same position. And my arms are still slightly akimbo. Um, that leg being up slightly gives me a kind of attitude of uh, dashing commuter somewhat, but not actually going anywhere. And now as I say that, the other foot comes together and I straighten out, the knees straightening out, bending very stiff on the knee. And with that word stiff, I now try to loosen up my shoulders and they're a little bit more loose. Look down again on my feet. One foot is splayed a tiny, tiny foot. That's the foot on the right side. Uh, further out and advance from the other foot. It's funny how I move without really walking at all. And as I bounce back, I always tip over backwards and try to straighten out. And now I loosen up and I actually shake my feet and I'm actually walking to that right side of the stage, which is on the audience. And my left side of the stage, right? And now it turns, so I'm walking right into the corner and raise my voice and I walk right into the corner now. It's funny that the finger, as I look down, verify that. The finger in my right hand is still in my pocket. And now I turn around again, looking at the audience advancing very much toward the audience, stopping and sliding in a kind of invisible line from one side of the stage to the other. Um, back, my head goes up as if I'm talking to the ceiling, and you can see my neck, you can see my green shirt, perhaps, and the matching tan pants. Uh, <laughs> rather nice autumn color coat. Going with the evidence of this, going with the feet, uh, boots, and as I walk back, I have to constantly walk back to maintain my balance and balance on my heels, maybe a little bit macho kind of pose, showing that I can do it. Now my feet go apart and much more relaxed kind of pose, sliding apart. Um, the floor being slippery, they tend to keep sliding. My hands haven't changed until I said that. And now coming from the loop on my belt, uh, that finger, the right index finger, goes to the pocket to join the other two of us. My ears perk up listening to something like a truck maybe outside. Um, now I look up again, looking at the light, and then down at the center, someone with the camera, back down again. Very symmetrical, but a very odd position. It's as if I'm in a kind of yogi balancing position, but it's ridiculous because my feet are sliding apart as I talk about this. And now I straighten up, and looking very good, and my shoulders go back again. And walking back, marching slightly back, directly backwards now. Much more of a march step, but very slow. This is maybe about half time. I stop probably right in front of the mirror. Um, now the hands go out of the pockets. I look at my fingers. Um, seeming the left finger and left hand is over the right hand. They're very model looking. Um, red and white model kind of colors. And the gesture is like, uh, it's funny, it's both a looking and maybe it's an appeal to someone. Uh, half religious, maybe, maybe it's not religious. It's very hard to tell. As I go up, uh, well, my head goes up and now my, my hands very symmetrically are rubbing my eyes as if I'm waking up in the morning, but in a very religious uh, kind of uh, uh, frame of mind, trying to keep it very symmetrical, center of balance. Now the hands go down and they wipe themselves uh, very symmetrically. Uh, and just as I say the word symmetrically, the knee on the right side goes up, jerk, jerkily, as if to emphasize maybe a lack of symmetry, and it goes down again and sort of pacing slightly in place. Now I'm rubbing more with my left hand, 
on the right, right side of the audience than I am with the right hand. Rubbing, rubbing my thighs, the top of my thighs, back and forth, an almost pleasurable type of manner. And as I walk forward, I'm doing the same thing, walking very, very steadily. Uh, looking at the audience, it seems there's a mild amusement and gaping, gaping expression as some people, other people are looking and wondering. Um, twinkle in the eyes of some people, the wavering of the eyes and the wavering of the lips. Some in the center lose their head, uh, shaking with uh, a lot of people blinking their eyes, and people who are looking at me directly, other people aren't looking directly, pretending to look to the side, uh, actually looking to the side with their eyeballs or not. Um, I'm thinking that people seem slightly amused now, but in a very passive, nodding kind of way. Other people, particularly the people in the center, are much more serious. Perhaps they're looking back a little bit because of the direction of the gaze. They can't look totally forward. Um, some people are, uh, just before I said, some people, there's some smiles. People are loosening up, their mouths open a little bit more, so teeth are shown. This is on my left side. Uh, very little movement at all in terms of people, well, people shaking themselves a little bit, laughing in the way that shakes themselves. Uh, they're clutching themselves in different ways. Uh, uh, now there's some movement. Everybody, many, about half of the people are moving to uh, get into a more restful posture and turning away, smiling as they turn away, turning back, touching parts of their body, which they've never done before. I was just going to say there's no touching with their hands of other parts of the body. As I say that, some people smile. People who, who uh, people smile in a very similar way. Some have, uh, as the, uh, what they've been done before, some with a slight, very slight, pleasurable amusement smile, others with a, a, a grin or a t-shirt, constantly doing that. Uh, now an amusement smile, and as people do that, they touch their lips, uh, or make gestures with their lips in a way, maybe uh, disowning what I just said. Uh, it's hard to know exactly what that means. Now people are broadly smiling, um, trying to look at me, or looking away to their partners. Two people looking away to their partners, one person nodded their head. Um, the people in the back, um, now the people in the front and the back are very similar. It's just the people in the front or in the center tend to move their heads back a little bit, maybe because they're closer to my particular point of gaze. As uh, now there's some showing people are rocking and adjusting themselves a little bit. Uh, there's considerable rocking back and forth. Uh, all, only by one I don't see any men doing that. Uh, two people in the middle are chewing. There's a laugh, the first kind of verbal laugh. That people touch. And people touch themselves, and now everybody's sort of shaking around, changing their position, nodding their heads and their torsos, and uh, you know, just readjusting themselves. So there's a kind of collective way of people doing that. And um, scratching my head now. Scratching my head. Um, it looks like my eyes are very open, and my mouth is somewhat open, lips open. Wearing a shirt and noticing on the shirt um, a symbol that I can't quite read. Um, it looks like a sheriff's badge, black on the outside, black a black star on the inside, writing in pink, and then a band in pink. As I move backward, my arms are actually pretty strange because they're out of kimbo, making triangles between my head on both sides and the elbows uh, on the other side. And the hair seems a little bit disheveled, not cut that properly, darkish. Um, as I move back to the side, I see little bits of red, um, just slight bits of red on the skin and the pink of the ear. I see a little bit of my undershirt showing as I walk back. Stomach tends to stick out just a tiny amount. And as I come in, the nose seems somewhat rounded uh, with a, one big hair coming out on the, uh, what seems to be my left side, uh, a little lighter in color than the other hair. Uh, generally a lot of beard kind of area. And the eyebrows a little, sometimes they're um, plucked up. They seem to be going upward rather than down smooth. I see no dandruff <laughs> as I walk <laughs> back. It seems like a fairly uh, small to medium sized figure uh, pacing back and forth in a very stealthy kind of way, almost sliding. Hands in the pocket is very obvious and the slightly akimbo elbows, elbows, the one on the left side being much more akimbo than the one on the right side, seem prominent. The color seems odd too, that badge doesn't go with the other colors um, quite, quite so much. And now blinking of the eyebrow up, arching of the eyebrow, doing it again, up again, eyes wider than normal, mouth a little bit um, kind of sucking on the mouth, the bottom of the mouth so I could see the teeth. 
um, rather loose and maybe a little bit tense despite the looseness. And, and now I can see, as I look down, I can see my uh, uh, leg going up a little bit on the knee showing me and, and I can't see my toe there at all. I can see the other one. I seem to be losing balance, but I shake it very, very hard as I'm doing this as if it's a kind of a boarded rock and roll type gesture. Now as I look back, I see people twitching um, on my left side, stop with their foot in front of the woman. Uh, other people looking with amusement. Uh, everybody looking up at me, much higher uh, than I am, blinking. Some people blinking. It's hard to get a total pattern as I do this. Um, person in the middle, much more serious. It's rather hard uh, to see. And so I'll put my, my glasses on them sometimes, it helps. Um, now we see everybody, oh, people are pretty amused. Um, no question about that. And now they're laughing rather broadly. Uh, big grins, enormous grins on people's faces, uh, like a Halloween kind of grin. And now they're making funny expressions with their face. And many have their faces askew in some way, uh, not facing me directly, perhaps because I'm on the side. Somebody trying to look from behind somebody else, and a very, very kind of pleasant uh, smile developing. Everybody looking rather attractive at the moment. Somebody scratching himself in the back row. And uh, there's somebody who's somewhat out of the picture, and he does not seem to have the same expression that the other people have. He's leaning against the edge of the, uh, of the wall, and he seems to be really uh, not part of this collective audience. People in the back uh, tend to um, be, um, it's hard to know. Now, I, think that, I don't think there's too much distinction between people in the front and in the back, and going from row to row in different positions. It's a fairly, uh, it's like an audience that's in a circle, in a ball, somewhat, and there's a dynamism in the front, in the, I mean, in the center, and there's some gaps in the front, probably because um, uh, there's, uh, the line of vision would help people slightly in the center back and at the two sides back, at the two sides front, left and right side. People on the two sides, by the way, seem to be, you know, people, someone's yawning, people are not serious. That's people are more serious now, sorry, mistake. Um, and now there's a kind of smirking laughter and a different kind of smile, not as broad. Um, now, more broad smile, people are looking to the side as if they're curious. Now, that smile broadens just a bit. Um, no yawns. <coughs> Lack of boredom. Mild amusement, perhaps. Some people thinking this is a perplexing moment. Other people have a fixed smile on their face, waiting for something to happen. Now, people move, regroup themselves, uh, waiting for something to happen, perhaps. Looking at the audience, somebody is uh, looking at the audience, and I rock back. I almost lose my balance as I'm rocking back on my two heels, and now my hands are up, making a fist on my left hand, and uh, jiggling my left uh, foot around in place as I do the sliding around. It's a rather slippery floor, and now I'm doing a funny kind of dance step, uh, sliding with one foot, a semi fist with that left foot, is sliding around on the other foot, stays in place, making almost a circle around the right foot as if they're two different people that I'm detaching myself into. And now I start walking toward the right, my right side and actually come at an angle hitting the wall. Come back, look at people at the opposite angle um, than I was before, walk back and forth, just walking back and forth. And, um, I don't know what my expression is. It seems rather deadpan. Now licking my lips, the top and lower part of my lips. With my glasses, I probably would look much different. Pretty hard to know, so I'll take them off because that's not the normal way I can visualize myself. And as I walk back and forth, putting the glasses back into my pocket, shrugging the shoulders back and forth, and kind of wiggling as if maybe just about ready to do some kind of task. But as I'm doing this, I'm pacing back and forth at a much faster pace with my left hand and I'm rubbing against my right shoulder, rubbing it down. Uh, again, a semi-erotic uh, kind of pleasurable feeling. It seems. Now the hand goes down, and I'm just trying to loosen up, loosening my arms as I walk back and forth into position, constantly walking back and forth. And then I bend down a little bit, doing a semi, well, it looked like it was going to be a deep knee bend, and now I'm balancing it on my knees as I bend down. Uh, looks like my head is going to go on the ground like an ostrich, but I never quite do that. And I haven't moved much. Um, this is an activity that's really arrested other activities. My hands clutching my knees, and I just go up again. And uh, I sort of seem to be some tension, so I move around, um, 
my thigh area are bouncing on my knee, my knee going up and down. The feet are pretty symmetrical this time. One, uh, my right hand is touching the glasses inside the pocket on the right, whereas the other hand is pretty much down, but not down straight. Uh, that is, the fingers curl up uniformly. And now they're straight down, both hands are straight down. And I walk right into the wall as I do that, and I seem to be just looking at the wall. Uh, weight now going on my right foot, off of my left foot. As I do that, I turn around and I continue walking back and forth as I've been doing before. Looking at the audience, all their heads have been swaying back and forth, uh, just as I was looking at the audience. And um, um, they look up at me, acknowledging me, as if about to speak to me directly for a second. And their hands are pretty still, but I think they have problems. Uh, yeah, they've been clutching themselves again. Uh, and now blood laughter coming from a couple of people, different for different people. People seem rather amused if they think that's funny. Other people don't seem very amused. Uh, now everyone seems a little bit amused. There's a kind of wink, uh, kind of coy, uh, coyness, perhaps. And um, now people are stretching out a little bit. Uh, they're a little bit tense in place. Um, they're moving back and forth now on their torsos. It's their way of stretching out rather than to the side, up and down, torso up and down. Uh, people are not looking at me. They're actually looking at the mirror, um, not when I said that. And the tendency now is to look less at me directly, look to the mirror and then look at me, more look down or look at the mirror. And people are looking straight ahead more than they were doing before. Sometimes people are shy. Yeah, and they're not looking directly at me. Maybe it's been painful to be constantly focused on one image for such a period of time. Uh, now they're looking directly at me, <laughs> if they can. Their mouths gape open, they're looking to the side. No, they're not acknowledging other people too much, they're just acknowledging that gesture. And very different for different people. There's a lack of uniformity of facial expressions at the moment. People are wrapped. Now people are making an expression that's different from being wrapped. Um, individuating an expression. People are tending to the individually. They're very static in the way they're standing, moving rather, they're holding themselves in a very similar way as if they're taking a pose and they're not changing it. But their uh, individual expression on their face has changed. And just as I say that, a lot of people move back and forward, move their mouths, trying to change their position. A lot, meaning about half the people. Some people moving to the side, some people smiling, uh, some people looking away, some people making expressions with their face, their mouths, um, somebody touching somebody else. Uh, smiling at that other person. It's the first time that's happened. It's just like body contact between two different people in the audience. Uh, mm, people are smiling. Uh, people are people are waiting. Like everybody says it's expectant. Uh, the air of expectancy. I turn with the glasses. I seem very scholarly with the glasses defining my face in an extremely different way than before. The eyebrows can't be seen. The hair is very tousled up, making me look a little bit ridiculous and scholarly at the same time. <laughs> and the glasses are much too large. Um, at this point, I'm removing the glasses, and it looks much better. Um, the eye is very open, um, very set, and they have a black hole right in the middle of the uh, black hole right in the middle of a dark brown kind of a, uh, oval. I guess it's a pupil. Um, and I see. Eyebrow, I see above the eyebrows three big lines uh, on the top of the forehead. And it seems that the top of my lip is rather tense, uh, rather set, uh, somewhat severe. Um, and now I lick it, and a little smile showing the top of my teeth, showing that I'm very much a nice guy type of expression for a second. And as I move back, it looks like, it looks like I'm gesturing in a certain way with my elbows. Um, and I, it's arrested, but a very strange thing is that one foot is directly forward, the other is at an angle, it's played at an angle and behind it in a certain way. One index finger in my pocket, one hand out. It's like I'm posing in a certain way for have a photograph taken. And as I do that, I go back, kick up my heels, do a little step, um, hop, and, hop and skip, put my, put my feet together, and as I'm doing all that, I'm with my first time using my left hand to touch my lip, go all the way around my lip to the other side of my lip, becoming conscious of it, I take it down. I'm speaking very rapidly. You can see my uh, lips going up and down, the lick of the lip. I'm walking off to the side now. As I'm walking off to the side, um, I'm looking at the audience for the first time. I look back and I'm seeing that uh, I look a little bit uh, worried. 
tiny bit. That is, the eyes are open and there's very little movement. Now I'm looking at the audience. The audience is, uh, some of them are biting their lips. They look a little bit worried. You can see, uh, uh, well, now a little bit of smile. Um, they're, it's very strange because they're on the same side I am, but they're reversed to me. And I can't tell what they're looking at. Well, they seem to be now looking directly at me. But the people on my, my side seem to be looking at me over the shoulder, which is the wrong shoulder. Um, well, that's the right shoulder. I've just gotten used to it. Um, very strange. Behind here, I'm hiding these people on my right side. People on my right side are much, well, with the exception. No, I can't make any, I can't make these generalizations. I'm trying to distinguish between people on either side. Um, seeing how that they're different. People on my left side now are moving about in place in the second row. Two people, three people in the second row. Person in the very back row is in the center has been chewing throughout. Continues at a little bit faster pace. People on the other side in the front row, well, all the people there are fairly fixed in position. People in the back row, the people in the front row, except for the people in the center who are more animated. And I can say generally the people in the center row, that is either the second row, I would have to call it the second row, or just are basically more animated than people in the first row or the last rows. Um, the people in the center, I can't distinguish from the people on the side in any particular way. Um, now I seem to be much more, as I'm squatting down here, I seem to be a very similar level to people, I'm looking directly at them as if looking in their eyes. But I'm not looking at one, I'm looking at a whole group of people and a whole group of people's eyes. Uh, those people are raising their heads sometimes up a little bit above me as if um, uh, a gesture of, uh, hmm, uh, they don't want direct eye contact. Um, these are the people who've established an eye contact. Um, these are the women mostly. The men tend not to have that eye contact. That is, they don't move the head. Uh, men tend to be distancing themselves much more in different ways. They also haven't moved in place or acknowledged my gestures as much. This is true generally of men as opposed to women throughout uh, these kind of descriptions. Now I'm looking over on my left side a little bit more and I'm seeing people in a very, very strange relation to me. Um, uh, they seem to be holding their distance and as I know I'm moving, that's very strange. 